morning children today is the first day of school from home i am your science teacher nida for class 4 today we are going to start with first chapter of science so let's start chapter 1 plants our green friends so today's date is 9th april 2020 let's begin you might have seen different types of plants herbs shrubs trees climbers and creepers around you take a walk in your school garden and observe different part plants and their parts list down your observation in the notebook since we are locked down we can do this activity once our school reopens now let's find out parts of a leaf there are five parts of a leaf stomata leaf blade stalk veins and midrib now comes to stomata there are small openings on the lower surface of the leaf called stomata look here on look here on the leaf there are small openings on the lower surface of the leaf called stomata stomata helps the leaves to exchange gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide with the surroundings so stomata helps leaves to exchange gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide with the surroundings now comes to leaf blade it is the flat part of the leaf this is the flat part of the leaf it is also called lamina it can be narrow or broad it is usually green in color due to the presence of green color pigment called chlorophyll so the leaf is in the green color why due to the presence of color pigment called chlorophyll now comes to stalk this is stalk the stalk helps in attaching the leaf to the plant so the stalk helps the leaf in and in attaching the leaf to the plant veins the tiny tubes running across the leaf are called veins these are the tiny tubes which are running across the leaf are called veins these veins help to carry food from the leaf to other parts of the plant so these veins helps the leaf to carry food from other food from other parts of the plant a leaf has only one main vein so this is the main vein and this is known as midrib or main vein this is the main vein and these are side veins can you see here main vein and side vein and a leaf has only one main vein called midrib and many side veins so these are the components of parts of a leaf now i am going to explain you through a diagram this is a diagram of a leaf these are the five components stomata leaf blade stalk veins and midrib stomata it absorbs the carbon dioxide and releases oxygen into the atmosphere stalk this is a stalk stalk acts like a neck of the leaf whatever food is prepared in the leaf it travels through the stalk to the rest of the parts of the plant leaf blade it is the flat part of the leaf and it is also known as lamina what is the function of lamina lamina absorbs air light and carbon dioxide for food process veins and midribs these are veins and this is the midrib now we are going to start experiment experiment number 1 the aim of the experiment is to identify different parts of a leaf 
such as leaf blade, stalk, main vein and side veins. Material required a fallen leaf. Make sure you don't pluck a leaf since plants also have life. Procedure Take a fallen leaf on a, of a plant or tree. Hold the leaf carefully and observe it in the light. Draw the leaf and label the parts that you observe. Now children, I have taken a small plant and I will showcase you parts of a leaf. As I have already reminded you not to pluck up leaf as plants also have life. Leaves have different shapes and sizes. Now, if you see a leaf here, it is a flat part of a leaf. The flat part of a leaf is also called lamina. It, is, it can be narrow or broad. It is usually green in color. The color of a leaf is green due to the presence of color pigment called chlorophyll. This is leaf blade. Now, the thick white line which is starting from the tip of a leaf and ending to the center of a leaf is called midrib. The small white lines attaching to the midrib and till the and going towards the edge of the leaf, these are veins. The small lines, the tiny lines which are going towards the leaf and attaching to the to the edge of the leaf, these are veins. Veins also helps to carry food from the leaf to other parts of the plant. Hope you have understood parts of a leaf, the five components of a leaf. Please practice it if you have a leaf. Do try this experiment. I have attached an assignment related to parts of a leaf. Please complete it. Till then, see you in next session. Bye-bye. Thank you.